In this paper, we present a keyframe-based gradient domain editing framework for deforming meshes. Let's start with a simple editing scenario to demonstrate how our keyframe-based editing system works. The original data is a deforming mesh sequence of a walking dinosaur. We deform the dinosaur in the first frame. Then set the first frame as a keyframe that influences the entire sequence. Our algorithm then smoothly propagates the deformation from the first frame to generate a new mesh deformation sequence. Here is the editing result. For keyframe editing, we develop an efficient alternating least squares deformation solver. The subspace method proposed in Huang et al. 2006 is sensitive to the quality of the control mesh. In this example, self intersections in the control mesh result in unnatural deformations, such as in the tail. Our alternating least squares deformation solver can well preserve the details of the original shape while producing smooth deformations. Please see the paper for technical details. We have successfully applied our editing framework for deforming meshes to a number of editing scenarios of increasing complexity, including footprint editing, path editing, temporal filtering, handle-based deformation mixing, and space-time morphing. Using footprint editing, we can easily adapt the planar walking sequence to a stair climbing sequence. The user first selects a footprint, and then simply clicks on the target position on the stairs to place the footprints. After editing the footprints, our system then automatically generates a stair climbing sequence. In path editing, the user only needs to sketch a curve on the plane. The original footprints will be automatically transferred to target locations, which are further set as constraints, and our system automatically adapts the original sequence to follow the user sketched curve. We demonstrate handle based deformation mixing by animating a cloth using human motion, like running or boxing. The original cloth animation is a flag blowing in the wind. We first specify the corresponding handles between a human model and the cloth. After transferring the trajectory of the handles from the human model to the cloth and setting them as position constraints, we can deform the cloth at each frame to generate deformations. Note that the original wrinkles on the cloth are well preserved. Mesh deformation filtering can edit the deforming mesh in the frequency domain. One representative application is to use the cartoon animation filter to create cartoon style deformation sequences. Here we show how the original data is exaggerated using the cartoon animation filter. Space-time morphing is another novel application. It morphs a source deforming mesh to a target deforming mesh in terms of both shape and deformation. Let's see how a dinosaur walking sequence is morphed into a lion walking sequence. Now we show more results. We demonstrate the power of our system by adapting a mesh sequence of a horse running straight on a flat plane to one running on an uneven terrain. We first use path editing to have the horse move along a curve, and then adapt the resulting sequence to the terrain using footprint editing. Thank you.